The numbers have gone crazy here, and I'll tell you so many reasons why. Uh, Real Sociedad are plus 150, hosting Real Madrid, who are plus 175. Real Madrid a plus 160 to score twice. But there again, if they score twice, they'll win the game. So you don't want to go near the team total of Real Madrid because you want to go near the plus 175 because Real Sociedad have not been scoring more than two for many, many weeks now. Uh, and Sociedad a plus 140 to score twice. But the other, this is the crazy one. The under or over is minus 105 for over two and a half goals, Roman. Um, numbers are really appealing because also Real Madrid are plus 105, draw no bet. Yeah, it's, it's a tricky game because, after all, Real Madrid do have a very important match uh, next Saturday, the Copa del Rey final against Osasuna. So, I mean, this could definitely have an impact on how Ancelotti decides to, to, to line up this uh, his squad for this game, you know? So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we see uh, certain rotations thinking for the, about that uh, Copa del Rey final and also keeping in mind that soon the Champions League is also going to be back, you know? So, I mean, a lot of important games for Madrid who know that La Liga is practically lost. I mean, the, the chances of, of coming back here are, are really scarce despite that good performance <laughs> against Almeria and that 4-2 result. So, I mean... Uh, Real Sociedad also being a tough team at home, uh, they can defend well. Uh, it's, it's hard to say. I, I honestly decided to stay away because I wasn't sure which way it was going to go. We saw a low-scoring game uh, in the first leg between these, these two sides in La Liga. And I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the same thing happens or maybe would be surprised in the sense that uh, we see lots of goals. So, I mean, Real Sociedad were going through a very bad streak not long ago. Now they've kind of stabilized their ship a bit and doing a bit better and they're harder to beat. And defensively, they've recovered a bit of that uh, solidness. They, they missed out for a while. So, as I said, tricky one. I'm not sure which way it's going to go. And I decided just to, to stay away for now. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those where all the numbers are trying to push you towards Real Madrid. That and sorry, probably... I, f I forgot to. Sorry, Flash, I forgot to add that Benicio is suspended for this match. So of course, he's not going to be playing because he got another yellow card last game, and we know how important he's been this season for them. Sorry for that. Yeah, no, 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 no worries. Any, any good little <laughs> snippets like that are great. Uh, and also Benzema, forty-two minute hat trick at the weekend. Hat trick before half time. Job done. And uh, let's go on from there. Real Madrid. Whenever the numbers are all pointing for you and look at appetising. They're poisoned, Pavlos. They're poisoned. <laughs> Don't buy that cherry red apple. It's not right. Yeah, it's not right. And, uh, you know, as Roman said, uh, Real Madrid, they have to play in uh, four days uh, in the Copa del Rey final. Then three days after that, they're going to have to play against Real Madrid, uh, against uh, Manchester City. Um, this, you know, this is going to be their, this is going to be their fourth match in 11 days, or their sixth match in uh, 17 days. So this has been a brutal La Liga schedule, and uh, you know, no matter how good or deep Real Madrid are, there's bound to be some, uh, you know, distraction about the upcoming matches. Um, you know, some rotation, as you guys said, because players need to be protected. Uh, there is a lot of muscular injuries that are going to happen if you, you know, if you overwork your players. So um, yeah, and with. They practically don't need anything from the La Liga right now. Just, uh, you know, to safely finish in the second spot. Uh, it might be complicated, and but even the third spot is going to be nice. It's not going to be a problem. And they're also so that, you know, they need... They don't actually need to win. They they can do their job with a with a draw here because Villarreal, uh, they're, you know, they're five points behind, so the fourth spot is theoretically safe. And uh, the fourth spot, of course, leads straight to the Champions League uh, group stage, so that's their main focus uh, this season for Real Sociedad. So, uh, yeah, when I saw this match, I said, OK, either Real Sociedad on the pick'em line or, um, you know, Real Sociedad double chance and over something or under something. I didn't really like... Uh, you know, the price on Real Sociedad Pickham, uh, I think that's a bit too low for my liking. So, uh, you know, I took my... I, and I didn't do this a lot this season, but I took a same game parallel, you know, an in-game parallel where I picked, uh, uh, you know, Real Sociedad and something and over under something. Now, uh, that something is over one and a half goals because, uh, you know, maybe it's a 1-0 win. Uh, I'll take my chances. I think it's a 1-1 one -one draw, a 2-0 win, a 2-1, something like that. So, uh, yeah, I think there's going to be at least a couple of goals and uh, Real Sociedad not getting beat. So, uh, yeah, I think that's a fair way to go here and uh, the price is nice, so I fired away.
Yeah, maybe a draw half time looks like a, a good way to go as well. If not, draw over the full 90 minutes because at plus 245, when you've got the lineup check, is probably the most important thing you're going to see here, not the numbers. So maybe wait an hour before kickoff, have a little look at the lineups. If there's no Benzema, there's no Vinny Jr., we know there's definitely no Vinny Jr., then all of a sudden. We've got Rodrigo and Arsenio coming in, and then who's going to be playing? Yeah, it looks like it's a containing uh, situation. Or Real Madrid are not going to worry, but their uh, cross-city neighbours, Atletico Madrid, are going to be chasing them down as well. Let's have a little look at the official pick. So, good game. I wish this game was like maybe three months ago. Okay, Sociedad, uh, double chance and under three and a half at minus 105. If you are new to us, that's Sociedad not to get beat so they can draw or win as long as there's not f four goals or more in the game.